It's some of these, it's not internment camps these they're locking up into. It's there's some of these military bases they're used for the overflow of that's coming in and they have no place to put them. So they're sticking them in some of these um, military bases while they hold them for a little while. But Obama did it too, right? It's not like, and every other president has done it. It's not, it's not something that's solely for Trump, but that's what they do. They tell you that and most people aren't going to look into it. Next stage, polarization. Polarization refers to political or violent acts meant to create divisions in the society. Mainstream media constantly lying and distorting the truth regarding the truth of a specific incident or situation. Again, I'll go back to, let's say, the Covington boys scenario, right? Or um, the Jussie Smollett situation. Or there's a, there's a plethora of them, right? There's a plethora of them. But basically, there's these the, the mainstream media pushes these false narratives of what happened with Trump, right? Of of the Trump collusion that Trump is, um, you know, was colluding with the Russians and and he supports the Russians and um, so on and so forth, right? They push these polarizing false narratives to, and most people don't take the time to really understand, like I said before, and read and dig in to find out really what happened. Most people take the headlines. Most people read the headlines. They know that. They know that, that that's a proven fact in, you know, in these media outlets, right? That it, the headline is almost the, the most important thing out of the article. Like this recent article that came out that Trump is putting people in internment camps. He's putting immigra- immigrants into concentration internment camps. Well, when you dig into it, that's basically what the headline said. When you dig into the article, it's actually the same military bases that Obama had, had kept some of the immigra- immigrants, illegal immigrants, the overflow of them. It's some of these, it's not internment camps these they're locking up into. It's there are some of these military bases they're used for the overflow of that's coming in and they have no place to put them. So they're sticking them in some of these um, military bases while they hold them for a little while. But Obama did it too, right? It's not like, and every other president has done it. It's not... It's not something that's solely for Trump, but that's what they do. They tell you that, and most people aren't going to look into it. Members of a different group are discouraged from normal societal interactions, and members of certain ethnic or religious groups are denied the right to participate in society. I don't have to dig into this again. We understand the allegory of what I'm, or the, the, the allegorical connection I'm trying to make here, and it's making it for me. I mean, just think conservative group, you know, conservatives, uh, IDW, um, patriots, um, classical liberals. This is the group we're talking about. And when we apply that to this, we say members of the different groups, the group I just said, are discouraged from normal societal interaction, being being spanked and put in timeout and put in these figurative, you know, uh, con- concentration camps, if you will, all the time. And members of the certain ethnic or religious groups are denied the rights to partic- participate in society. How do we participate in society mostly right now? Through social media. That's how we do it. And I know I'm being redundant in what I'm saying here, but it's, I, I, I want to drive the point home. It's through social media. And, and if you don't have the right think, you are not allowed to participate in society, participate in the sharing of your ideas. If your ideas don't line up. I mean, you talk about like rational, who's in the chat. I hope he's still in the chat. You know, what's going on in Australia too, right now, like in, 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 in the UK with Tommy Robinson, right? It is unbelievable the amount of um, uh, discriminatory censorship and attacks that, the, that, that is happening to these guys simply because of wrong think, because they have a differing opinion. Social media sites, news organizations, so on and forth, so forth. Yeah, touch that. Group members are blamed for terrorist attacks or terrorist attacks are committed to create divisions between sectarian groups. In some contacts, moderates are removed from the political positions by force or procedural methods. So, yeah, this is kind of, again, what I touched on with the, the, the IDW, intellectual dark web type people and the, the, you know, the Tim Pools of the world, the Dave Rubens of the world, these kind of guys who are the kind of the moderates. Right. And they're liberals, actually. Right. They are also attacked by the far left because they don't they believe in the Constitution and, and, and free speech. They believe in these things. So they're hardcore attacked by by the far left, as is, of course, the conservatives. Um, and um, they say their groups of men are blamed for terrorist attacks. That's so interesting, because when you have a Muslim that attacks somebody that does a Muslim attack, it is try or shoot somebody up. It is tried with all might by the mainstream media to stay away from who that because it doesn't fit their narrative right stay away from all oh, that it's a muslim that it is a uh, you know a person of color 
a black person, if it, it doesn't fit the narrative of a white male, they stay away from that. They don't mention it at all. But as soon as a shooting happens, and if it is a white male, like in the Christ church, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, that's everything that's put out there. That's constantly put white male, white, uh, far alt-right, you know, neo-Nazi male shoots up people, blah, blah, blah. Trump's to blame for this, you know, da, 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 da. They, then they misquote his damn, uh, his, his damn, you know, uh, um, uh, little essay he put out there. I can't think of the word right now. His, uh, they throw all that out there. Anyways, as soon as it's a, if it fits the narrative, they're shooting it out there to try to cause polarization. And if it doesn't fit their narrative, they're trying to limit it down. Members of the group are denied the rights to participate in society. Normally they're denied rights to attend school, right? Uh, again, going back to conservatives in college, uh, join professional organization, labor unions, gather in public, participate in politics. Members of a different group are prohibited or otherwise discouraged from interacting socially. Again, I don't need to rehash everything of how this applies. You, you're starting to get it. Terrorist attack occur, uh, occur that are blame, occur that are blamed on specific ethnic groups or religious groups or groups take credit for terrorist attacks to create division between groups. Again, like what happened at the Christtown thing. All of a sudden, these things are just totally blown up and uh, completely and totally talked about. Mixed status categories are unrecognized. How about the societal shaming of mixed political couples, right? When you have, I've heard of several couples that have gotten split up because of politics, because you have one that's a conservative and one that's a liberal, and they just can't even handle it because they are so trained, that you are so trained on the, on the left to think how terrible anything conservative is that it, you can't even have mixed relationships anymore. You look in, it, it's, it's a thing. Peaceful political rallies are attacked to create division in politics. Conservative patriotic, patriotic rallies are assembled by crazed leftist protesters. So when you have this, you have you have somebody on the right wanting to have a protest, right, wanting to have a uh, a rally. Who shows up? Antifa. What do they do? They just shout them down with their, all the names we talked about before. Or po political rallies are held to further division in society. How about like the, the BLMs or the Women March or the anti-Trump rallies or the Antifa or the Occupy Wall Street stuff? You have these rallies by the far left that are covered with such flowery and, and wonderful um, coverage of the, the, the suffrage of these people, right? And, and there, but it just, is, it's caused that the P, the powers that be behind it, right? The, the Warren Buffetts of the world and, and, and the, the George Soros's of the world who fund these things, they're funding them for division. They're funding them for control. Political moderates are removed through force or other non-electoral means. The concerted effort, efforts against the, you know, intellectual dark web or classical centrist liberals. 